Welcome back. You're watching Softball 360. Big day. The Long Haul Bombers, powered by HomeRunMonkey.com, are crossing the border to Toronto for an international event. And we also have some big news. J.D. Genter is back from injury. Let's see what we can expect today. Today at Rogers Centre in Toronto, the international appeal of softball is on display. Some of the Canadian fans can't wait to play ball. The Long Haul Bombers know all about softball north of the border. They meet and greet, sign autographs, and swap stories about the sport they love. I wish I could hit like them. They're awesome. I found stuff and I caught it, so. I love how they fit, hit the ball so far. I find it unbelievable. As the Bombers arrive for the show, plenty to prepare for with a Canadian cool front blowing in. I hope the wind's blowing out today. If it's blowing out today, we're going to hit some homers. The stadium power tour is ready to take flight at the home of the Blue Jays. This was the first fully enclosed retractable park in the bigs, but it only takes about 20 minutes to open or close. It's so massive, it could cover a 31-story building, and there's even a 300-room luxury hotel attached. But it's not the place to visit if you're counting calories. It is a comfortable place for the long haul bombers. Uh, it's a great ballpark to hit in. Uh, even when the dome's open, it's it's halfway closed over the uh, outfield, and you don't have to worry about wind. You can just get in there and swing and uh, not have to overdo anything. A lot of targets. There's about five decks out there, and I'm trying to aim for at least one of them. This is a blue stadium. I think the Smurfs are from here. Hopefully the ball flies and we put up big numbers today. TPS is the best. JD's ready to go in his first game back after an early season wrist injury. JD has plenty of points to make up and plenty to prove. Uh, you're always after double digits. Hitting the money ball is key. Uh, you know, the most important one's the money ball at the end. Uh, being focused, uh, uh, catching the right pitch, getting it up in the air, and everything else should take care of itself. JD's quick to credit his martial arts training is one reason for his speedy recovery. Flexibility, the speed, the strength in your hands, a lot of that uh, was the main reason I got into it. With Kung Fu, you're using predominantly hands, working on quickness and strength. You hear, boom. It's just an extension. I'm very excited, buddy. It's going to be fun. Is that air? I need that wind at my back. I don't think I've ever been this nervous, though. So. Why are you nervous? I'm kidding. The Blue Jays are hosting the California Angels. And as always, many of the MLB stars are curious about the softball legend. Russell Brannion plays infield for the Angels. And at six foot four, 230 pounds, Russell the Muscle, as he's known, would love to give softball a shot. I'd make a fool of myself, man. I swing before we got there. <laughs> Today, when the Bombers step to the plate, there's plenty of pressure on each one of them. It's a game where points are critical. Each swing will determine the chances of making a spot in the final. This one, uh, this is make or break, really, for me. Today, I have to have two good events. If I get two finish up strong, I got to hit good today here and uh, hit good in St. Louis. If I do that, I'm right where I want to be. Pressure? Oh, heck, these guys thrive on it. And showtime is just a few swings away. Stick around, fans. Plenty more Softball 360 action coming your way. When Softball 360 returns, some big questions will be answered today in Toronto. Will J.D. Genter complete his comeback? Can Tim Coco repeat his massive 14-point show from Cincinnati? What bombers are on the edge of elimination? The answers after this brief time up.